in India, you know, considers itself uh, the world's largest democracy, and numerically speaking, it is the world's largest democracy. But Kashmiris see it as the world's cruelest democracy. Why do I say that? In 2016, the Indian state responded to protests on the streets of Kashmir by blinding Kashmiri youth on the streets of Kashmir. What do I mean by blinding? They use a Victorian-era gun called the buckshot weapon, buckshot gun, which releases a spray of lead pellets in the air to catch, uh, you know, uh, prey in flight. And it caught all these protesters in their eyes. So about, you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, people were injured in their eyes, out of which about more than a hundred have lost vision for life either partially or completely. So you have to see this latest sort of siege and the revocation in the larger context of what has happened in Kashmir all these years, which is just a story, a tragic story, a brutalization of Kashmiri people. And that is all the, that's why I say, I say this move, this move is going to have unimaginable consequences because Kashmiris will not see this as just an, a, a small step by a political party that is um, undoubtedly pandering to, to its right-wing majoritarian Hindu base in India by teaching these ungrateful Kashmiris a lesson, you know, by revoking their whatever nominal autonomy they had in, with, with the Indian constitution. They see it as yet another stab in the back. It's, it's, this latest revocation is a, is a low blow. You know, uh, it, it packaged with humiliation of Kashmiris that not only are we not going to ask you, not only are we not going to let you decide your future, we're also going to snatch away the little bit of autonomy that previous regimes had, you know, uh, promised you. So